Just hours, a father and son accused of murdering a St. Cloud woman head back to court. Today, an Osceola County grand jury indicted Nicole Montalvo's estranged husband and her father-in-law. News 6's Eric Sandoval is here tonight with more on what they face, Eric. Yeah, it has been four and a half months since the remains of Nicole Montalvo were found in St. Cloud. Both men were arrested almost immediately afterward, and they both faced preliminary charges of murder. These are the two men we're talking about right here. The grand jury today, though, came back with different charges, but these charges are still severe. Tonight, Christopher Otero Rivera and his father, Angel Rivera, sit in the Osceola County Jail without bond. Otero Rivera now indicted on three charges in connection with the death of his estranged wife, Nicole Montalvo. Deputies say her dismembered remains were found in October on land owned by his family in St. Cloud. Today, a grand jury officially charged him with second-degree murder, abuse of a dead body, and tampering with evidence. His father, Angel, officially charged with abuse of a dead body, being an accessory to Montalvo's murder, and tampering with evidence. Angel's attorney waived a speedy trial, which means the defense and prosecution can take their time trying his case. But Otero Rivera's attorney has not waived a speedy trial. She told News 6 tonight, We remain committed to defending our client. The events of today do not change our path. It is a dangerous game to play. New 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer says prosecutors have a window of 175 days for a speedy trial. He says the clock in this case is ticking and both sides might need more time. You have complicated evidence, forensic evidence, you've got experts that are going to have to come in and frankly defense attorneys often need time just as much if not more than the prosecution. Now, we checked with the jail tonight. Both Christopher and Angel Rivera are scheduled to face a judge tomorrow morning for their first appearance on these new charges. They have another court date set for Tuesday. We will be at both of those hearings to see what they have to say. Matt, Lisa. Eric, thank you.